morning, Maryland. Today we are waking up to a chilly start once again, but this morning we're starting off with some patchy fog. It's really starting to form across Westminster, seeing about five miles this morning, and visibilities are slightly reduced down towards Easton and central Talbot County, also seeing some uh, patchy fog form right around Frederick. But a lot of this fog will lift and dissipate by the mid morning hours. The reason why we're waking up to some of that fog is because we had some moisture towards the surface from yesterday's rain, and we also have this cold front just off to our north and west. You can see it's advancing eastward this morning, but it's pretty moisture starved, so it's really just producing a fair amount of clouds across western Maryland, and that's going to lead to some passing clouds on and off through the afternoon. But again, most neighborhoods and communities should stay relatively rain free, but it's feeling more fall like out there. Temperatures are beginning in the mid to upper 40s this morning for a lot of spots north of the Baltimore Metro, so north of I-95, 49 degrees in Ellicott at City 48 in Jarrettsville, but mainly south and east of the I-95 corridor. That's where we are seeing some spots begin in the lower 50s. So grab that warm PSL because you will certainly need it. And also crank the heat in your car. Temperatures should be right around the lower 50s by the 8 o'clock hour, mid 50s by 9 o'clock this morning. And here's a look at what we have in store through the afternoon. A little bit milder than yesterday. Yesterday we hit highs in the mid 60s. Today about 5 to 6 degrees warmer than that. We uh, cap out right around the upper 60s and the lower 70s getting into the afternoon with intervals of clouds and sunshine throughout the day. And even around dinner time, right around 6 o'clock, temperatures should still stay relatively mild in the upper 60s. So you'll see this cold front will cross the area throughout the day today, sparking some clouds, especially south and east of the Baltimore Metro up and down the Delmarva Peninsula. But it looks pretty moisture starved. If we see any moisture associated with this cold front, it's going to be mainly confined to Southern Maryland. We have plenty of sunshine throughout your Wednesday and then also for Thursday as well. Our temperatures will start to climb a little bit behind that cold front. Taking a look at your high temperature trend, we stay in the 70s throughout the rest of this week. In fact, Thursday is going to be the warmest day with an air temperature of 76. Your 70 forecast points out that we have ample sunshine throughout the rest of this week with chilly morning temperatures in the 40s over the next couple of mornings. And then as we head into your Friday morning, we start off with temperatures in the mid 50s, so a little bit warmer than where we should be. Clouds increase throughout the day on Friday and a potent cold front slides through this weekend, sparking not only widespread rain showers, but also knocking our temps down into the 60s.